Hi, my name is Robert Turn. I'd like to uh, show you the upgrades uh, I've made to uh, Push to Run. These are uh, the upgrades between version 2 and version 2.1. So uh, basically, for those of you familiar with the program, it works fundamentally the same as before, but it's got a couple new features that I'm going to talk to you about. Uh, the first is uh, when you run a program or open a file or whatever, you can uh, choose to uh, change its initial window state. So values you can use are normal, maximized, minimized, and hidden. And I'll just give you an example of that. So here's another program that I've written called Setfall. And uh, you're welcome to uh, download and, uh, and use it too for free. It's uh, just Google it if you want. And basically... Uh, it's uh, a little program that lets you change the volume of your PC speakers. So uh, right now my PC speakers are set at uh, 25% and uh, I'm just going to use uh, push to run here to change my uh, volume uh, and pass into it the, uh, uh, the new volume. Uh, but I'm going to open it as a hidden window. So uh, in the older version of the program uh, when I would run it, uh, what would happen would be a, uh, a window would appear there very briefly. Uh, it's the Windows command prompt window and uh, it would run the setfall program in it and then uh, when it was done uh, just uh, close itself, dismiss itself away. But um, who needs that? So we'll just hide that window. So um, I'll just do that and that so that you can see the full screen and I will say um, OK Google set the um, sorry. Okay, Google, tell my computer to set its volume to 55%. Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that yet. Sorry, I'll try that again. Okay, Google, tell my computer to set its volume to 55%. Okay, I told your computer to set its volume to 55%. And there you go, you didn't really see anything... Uh, uh, happen in, in terms of windows the volume is set to uh, 55 percent and um, it, uh, it just kind of the program just did that kind of quietly on its own so uh, now on to the next new feature which is you can now use the program to automatically send keystrokes or the words that you say to the program uh, or a file that you open so for example I'm going to open notepad and uh, what I'll do is it'll type these words here and then the words that I say. Now the words that I say for those of you who have used push to run before know that it's represented by the dollar sign and that dollar sign can be anywhere along uh, along this text line here. It doesn't have to be at the end. So let's give that a little run. Okay Google, tell my computer to type what I say. This is a test. One, two, three. Okay, I told your computer to type what I say. This is a test. One, two, three. And there you go, typed it out. Now, I'm going to just show you just a little more about that. So the uh, the thing with, uh, you saw that typing and it was done very quickly. Um, so the what we might want to do from time to time is put a delay uh, so that the, the program doesn't uh, type as quickly. And to do that, you use the command here, typing delay 100. So all of these commands, uh, all the things that you can type other than just uh, regular characters, that's uh, this, uh, all defined in the help here. So let me just close that and uh, we'll close this so that we can see the help a little bit better. And these are all the keys and the commands that you can use. So, um, you know, what this is about is, uh, although it's, it's good to be able to type things out, there are certain keys that, well, you just can't really uh, type out. So here's an example here, the Alt key or the left Alt key. Um, if you wanted to uh, actually have push to run uh, emulate the an alt key, um, how you would do that is just say uh, in squiggly brackets the word alt, and that would emulate sitting the left alt key. And there's an equivalent one there for uh, the right alt key as well, just down here. Okay, but getting back to what I was saying earlier, uh, this typing delay, what it does is it. Uh, it adds a, a small delay in between each keystroke uh, and, and why you might want to do that is some programs, and I'll show you one later, uh, can't keep pace with the speed that uh, uh, push to run can actually send uh, the, uh, the characters to, your, um, to the program. So uh, some, like Notepad, can, others cannot. 
So uh, the delay in here would be between 000, you need to enter three digits, and 999 uh, milliseconds. So uh, 1,000 milliseconds is a second. So you can insert to up to almost a second in delays between uh, each character. And uh, the thing I'm going to show you too here is you can also have a one-time wait, or actually the wait can be as many times as you like, but it won't be between each character. It'll be just every time you say wait, uh, 000 to 999. So again, up to almost a second there for every every time you want to do that. So uh, that's all explained in the help. And then now I'll go back to uh, to the program and to the example and uh, just show you that what it's going to do is it's going to um, it's going to type out here um, some words at uh, at the speed of a with a hundred milliseconds delay then it's going to drop it to 50 and then to 25 and then to zero milliseconds delay and then it's going to have some extra words in here it's going to wait for about three seconds and then we're going to uh, hit the alt f x n keys so when we open notepad and we type some stuff uh, if we type in alt f that brings up the uh, the, the, the menu and the file selection, the X is for exit, and the N is uh, the program will prompt you, do you want to save your changes or not? And we'll just say N for no. So basically it's going to type a bunch of stuff into Notepad, and then it's going to just uh, dismiss that window and, and not, save the, not save the changes. So we'll just run this here as an example. And you'll see it'll type out the words. Uh, at different speeds and then eventually dismiss the window after about three seconds and there you go so um, sometimes however you don't want to send keys to uh, a file or a, a program rather you want to send them just to just to the desktop itself so here would be an example of uh, where you would do that so instead of a, a file name or a program name you just type in desktop there and then uh, in this case, what will happen is uh, it's going to uh, enter the, the sequence required to tell you what version of Windows you're running. So to do that, you would press the Win key uh, and have a small wait. Uh, you'd release the Win key. Um, you'd wait for a little bit. You'd type in uh, W-I-N-V-E-R, uh, wait, and then press enter. So you may have to fiddle around with uh, these pauses and waits from time to time, depending on what you're doing. But uh, this seems to work well for me. So I'll just uh, close that and we'll uh, give it a run. So, um, okay, Google, ask my computer to tell me its version of Windows. Okay, I told your computer to tell me its version of Windows. And there you go. Now I'll just give you one last example of where we do need a, uh, a typing delay. So uh, there's a, a Windows program, uh, the Sticky Notes, and uh, I found that in, uh, in testing this that uh, you really do need to put the, uh, the uh, character delay in between each keystroke. And if you don't do that, then things get all messed up in terms of uh, what you want to uh, have the program do. So uh, basically uh, that's the commands that you're going to use uh, to get to the Windows uh, Sticky Notes program and then this is going to be the words that I say. So we'll give you an example of that. Actually let me just go here first. I'm going to um, uh, just do it manually on the keyboard and with the mouse. And I just want to see there's a couple notes there I have. I'll get rid of that one and just to make sure that uh, I don't have any too many notes there, so let me let me go uh, say this now. Um, okay, Google, tell my computer to create a sticky note to post this video when I'm done. Sorry, I don't understand. Gotta love Google. Okay, Google, tell my computer to create a sticky note to post this video when done. Okay, I told your computer to create a sticky note to post this video when done. There you go. And um, uh, basically, uh, that works as, uh, as advertised. So, uh, in any case, those are the two new features. There's a whole bunch of other smaller things in behind the scenes in the program. Uh, and uh, But they're, they're really not worth speaking about. 
uh, but they're there to uh, make the program a little more uh, robust and stable. So um, I hope uh, I hope that uh, that this, these changes will be of use to you. I, I really enjoyed writing them, and uh, of course you can uh, uh, download and use this program uh, for free. And uh, please do tell your uh, friends about it. Thanks very much for your time. Bye now.